what we have really, really learned from this experience is that paying attention and monitoring symptoms much more closely is really an important element in trying to maintain the health and safety of a building in which literally there's hundreds of people in here every single day. Welcome to Science with a Twist. Let's get started. You have a new technology that's helping to detect in-air presence of the COVID pathogen. Can you tell us a little bit about that? There's one thing we've learned is that there's no one single solution uh, that's going to be deployed that ensures our safety. Right? So the aerosol sense solution, when paired with PCR analysis, uh, can be used to detect and identify the presence of coronavirus in the air around us, uh, which is incredibly powerful when complemented by those other tools that are currently available to us today that you just mentioned. What do you think are the barriers to widespread adoption of the aerosol sense sampler in a school like setting? I would say from our experience, it is funding. And I'm really hopeful that there might be an opportunity to either at the state level or the federal level that they would recognize the aerosol sense sampler as a really useful scientific-based tool that school settings and maybe actually other public settings, I could see healthcare settings also finding this to be very, very useful, but for the school setting, allow the state or federal government to put this on their, I guess, their toolbox of allowances for schools. We're very fortunate to have been a part of the pilot project and to have a team of people that I've been working with at Thermo Fisher being willing to help us continue on to a second phase of that. 